Hello and welcome to Twin Flame Tuesday. <sighs> I'm going to do my best to. Well, it's always I'm always we're always where we're supposed to be. We are always right on track. Um, it's it's an illusion that we're ever off our path because even when we perceive ourselves to be off our path, we are we are in that place because there is something there for us to learn. We need to find our power in that space. So yes and no, <laughs> you are always on your path, <laughs> right? Because it is in that learning, that lesson that allows us to perceivably get, quote, back on track, right? And what my weekend had been, as you could hear in, in the Super Sign Sunday, which I encourage you to watch. Uh, the message is amazing, but I, I also ended up sharing where my twin I, twin and I are and where I was over the weekend with all of this shift happening and all of this intense emotions. Even even the, the last I had checked the um, Earth's heartbeat, the Schumann resonance, the last time I checked that, oh my gosh, like it's it's insane. Never, 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 never seen such a thing. Um, so things are crazy <laughs> and, and so it's all the more important to be looking for where your power is rather than where it is not. And dear goddess, before I was sitting down to make this video, it was so loud in my head, you know, source spirit and I'm one of those, you know, the, the, the message simply the message is to don't worry about what he's doing. Don't worry about what he's doing. <laughs> and I just was like, okay. <laughs> right, sister? <laughs> we like to sit and worry about what he's doing. <sighs> that is not where your power is. Okay. Welcome again, as I said, to Twin Flame Tuesday. My name is Rochelle Richard. For those of you who may be new to my channel, please like and subscribe down below. I am doing my best to get my videos out three times a week for Super Sign Sunday, Twin Flame Tuesday, and Thankful to Thrive Thursday. I'm just led to those days uh, in particular. Uh, I am working toward doing readings, you know, shorter, smaller, uh, picture readings, posted readings on, well, the p photo platforms uh, with everything. Oh my goodness. So uncertain, so crazy, so wild, so insane uh, right now. Let's just take it one day at a time. I'm pretty much empowerment experiences across the board and uh, healing twin flames in a couple different places. You can check those out down below in the description. That said, let's dive in. Remember, don't worry about what he's doing. Don't worry. Don't worry. I got... Don't worry. Be happy. Right? So there you go. There's your song. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Look at this. Oh my goodness. Feel good. Feel good stuff. Wow. All right. All right. Let's see here. Here we got hope. Yeah. Hold on. Pain ends. Hope. You know, <laughs> we are the hope, meaning the hope that you're looking for is inside of you. The hope you have for union with your twin is inside of you right now. Me. Oh, that was, that was the, the the ricochet that my love and I hit that caused him to fall. And it's a pattern. Oh, I, I, I see the pattern and it's amazing because that's when you know you can change something is when you become aware of something. You can go, oh, I see that. I see that. <laughs> and then you can change it. You get to respond differently, which means you're going to get a different result. And so we did all of that. But learning... Oh, that, oh, when I had to tell him that I couldn't go, like I literally could not go, that my visa's suspended for India. It was devastating. 
It was a devastating blow. You know, he was in his bubble. <laughs> I had to burst the bubble. Yeah. So I know it can be easy to lose hope. But you, dear goddess, you are that hope. Just as in Super Sign Sunday, it's recognizing that you are the miracle. Each and every one of us is the miracle. The fact that you exist, there will never be another exact you ever again. You will never have the same exact experience twice. And we are creating this. We are creating this. Okay, so, so look for where your power is. That's where you'll find that hope. That's when you'll be able to connect with that hope that's already inside you because you are it. You are the light in this darkness. It's inside you. Surrender to the flow. Trust that everything is working out for us. When you go within, when you can connect with you, the power inside you, that's when you recognize that to let go is where the control really is. Is to learn to surrender. That is what control is. To let go. That you're in control of you. And how you are being in your experience. How you are being in your twin flame journey. <sighs> what you are bringing to it. Look at what you are also bringing into this world, into this experience. What are you creating? What is coming from you? What vibration are you putting out? What vision do you have in your mind? What thoughts? What, what are you feeding in your imagination? What are you creating in your imagination? Because I can see how over the last several years, exactly what the masses were told was happening is now officially happening. It has blown my mind to watch because the story we tell is the reality we live. And I am watching it. And it's blowing my mind. <laughs> I am so grateful to be in a space where I have had such a crazy broad experience that I'm going to tell you, I want to say that I'm, I can be surprised, but the surprise only lasts for a moment, uh, simply because of what my journey has been. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> I'm ready to envision a new reality. I'm tired of telling the same story. I'm tired of focusing on things that aren't working. I want, it's time, just as Super Science Sunday. This is why it's so, it's, it's important. I encourage you to watch the week's messages because they are connected. All right. But in that one, it, we talk about the, the miracles, the prosperity healing that you are creating this you are the catalyst what am I saying I talk about that all the time and last week was to focus on what you're creating that was the theme of last week's what do you want to experience goddess what do you want to grow in your garden feed that let go of what you do not have power over let go. Stop giving it any more power by even paying attention to it. Because <laughs> that was part of my, my story of where I was over the weekend and, and my twin flame and, and his, his, his role in, in shining his light. And it was challenging for a moment, but I could see, and I, 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 I don't think I mentioned this in, in the video, but I could see how... I was watching myself as the observer in me, the, the true me, watching my thoughts, watching the things that were going through my mind. And I'm like, why aren't we focusing on the fact that, oh my God, look at how much he, he is sh trying to show he cares. He's not the best at expressing his feelings. 
especially since English is not his first language. <laughs> he often tells me because you notice I have a broad English, a broad grasp of the English language. I am a poet and I know it, I like to say, um, a writer. And I like to use some fairly big words sometimes and um, long sentences. And yeah, it can, with a lot of, you know, all those big English uh, things. <laughs> I'm just like, uh, yeah. Um, contractions, all those things, all those fun. And yeah, I got to keep it simple. And he, he, yeah, I overwhelm him sometimes. So I was watching the crap that I was telling myself instead of focusing on the beautiful things that were happening and savoring the beautiful, amazing things that were happening, this is, what, this is where our hope comes from, is we can look at where has this worked out before? Where, when have I felt good before? What, what allows me to feel good? What can I focus on that puts me in a feel-good place that, that creates space within me? so that I can feel hope again. You are the catalyst, goddess. You've got to allow yourself to feel better. You've got to allow yourself to surrender to the flow and, and dream. I confess, I have not been, I have been stifling my own dreams for a moment. It's challenging this last, this last year especially, right? My own mind has been telling me, what's the point? That was, that was where I ended up on Saturday. My love was like, no, let's just, here I invested this much. This is how much we have in our account. Because XR, it, again, it's a, it's a, message me if you want to hear more about it. <laughs> Moving on. Twin Flame Tuesday. Rebirth. This is where we are right now. Goddess. This is exactly where we are. We are in the cocoon. This is why right now it is so important, so important to be gaining that control over ourselves by way of what we are giving our attention to because we create our reality. The story you're telling is the reality you're living. Start paying attention to what you're saying and then see how you're feeling and see what your life experience is like. If you are talking about how your twin flame never talks to you, he ignores you, he wants nothing to do with you, and that's what's happening, you're creating that. <laughs> Either way, we create by default. I mentioned in the Sunday Signs video reading this week. It is about creating intentionally. You're manifesting regardless. Start doing it intentionally and recognize that you are creating you. You get to choose who you are in any given moment. The same as you get to choose that to which you give your attention. That's what this rebirth is about is us becoming conscious, us becoming awake and aware to recognizing where our power is in this experience, which is inside each one of us, inside each one of us. In the realm of possibility, all things are possible. The only one who says things are not going to get better or that it's the end of the world. Well, it's kind of the end of the world. It's the end of the world as we know it. But it's still that place of, of recognizing that all things are possible. Maybe not right this second because, well, there's some, there's some rearranging that's going on in the world, in this, in this realm, this entire freaking realm, not just this world, but this realm, this dimension that... So it's kind of like when you're on a plane. You do not open the door and walk out of the plane while it's 30,000 feet above the ground. 
So we're kind of like that. We are all in this icky cocoon attached way up high to a tree. And if we were to just walk right out of our icky gooey cocoon, we'd just plummet and be dead. It'd be all over. <laughs> That's trying to combine the analogy of the 3, 4, and 5D that I, that I, how I view it. Uh, in terms of allowing my mind to understand things in, and at the same time, the, uh, you know, the falling out of the airplane, right? To falling to the ground. We don't do that. So that is why right now it is, it's surrendering to the flow, focusing on what you, where your power is, right? And for me, it's like, I love doing these readings. I love recording these videos. I love telling my story, sharing my, my blog, my, my, all of it, where I am in my journey, how I find my power, how to help you find your power. I love this. I know this is, this is why I'm here. And I love being transparent with you because I want you to always know that I get it. I probably get it more than you can imagine I could get it. So when I say to you, dear goddess, that in the realm of possibility, all things are possible, good, bad, ugly, amazing. It's all possible. I have had some of the worst things in my life that people can begin to fathom done to me. But I've also experienced some of the most amazing, wonderful, incredible things ever. Like flying to Goa to meet my twin flame. Goa, India. In the realm of possibility, all things are possible. Even if you don't believe you're a leader. Because you are. Every one of us are. In different ways. That's the, that's the key. Is recognizing that you, even in your life, lead by example. That is your role of leadership. Is to lead by example. And even I confess that, again, getting caught up in these lower vibrations. And, oh, it's been so heavy. And watching so much of the show, it's like, I have got to stop marathoning it. it <laughs> it's not serving me in a very positive way you know we've got to take that break we've, we've got to disconnect a little bit although right now things are ramping up so it's like yeah we're reaching the climax for real you know but it's important to recognize that people are watching you and not no i'm not yes big brother's watching you i'm not talking about the government and everything else but i mean people around you there's, there's someone somewhere in your world, I'm sure, that looks up to you. What example are you setting? How are you leading by example? Even when you fall into that shadow space, this is why I share my story. This is why I am transparent. Because again, I go through the shit too. <laughs> and even in those moments, even when in those moments, I feel like giving up. There's always this part of me that secretly knows that I could feel even further down that says, no, you're not. <laughs> no, you're not. No, you're really not. No. We're just going to let you throw your little tantrum here because that's really what it is. is you're just having a tantrum. In the sense of waking up to realize that, oh my God, <laughs> I was feeding the negative thoughts. I was thinking the negative things. Mm -hmm. I was focusing on the things that don't feel good in my experience rather than the, being grateful for the things and focusing on the things that do. This is how we lead, right? What, what, are, what are things? It's, it's okay to, again, get flustered and frustrated and angry and but it's important to also take responsibility for that. To say, hey, wow, <laughs> I was in this space. Let me tell you what it taught me. Let me tell you how I grew stronger. 
This is why I know my calling here. And I'm not going to deny. I've kind of pulled away a little bit because it's been, it has, it's been so challenging this last year to, you know, especially as I've been, you know, following this crazy path of twin flames. I never imagined I would see my business going this way or see my, not even my business per se, but to see me <laughs> going this way. But then I got to remind myself that Rochelle, you didn't see empowerment experiences coming anyway. So why are you surprised? <laughs> It's like, okay, those are things that we can call miracles because empowerment experiences for me is a total miracle. I, the, the story of it, how it came to pass, I am working on getting uh, that story uh, recorded uh, for you, um, how it was formed. You know, again, just work on sharing more of what empowerment experience is about, who I am, what I'm about, um, and not just my crazy wild journey. <laughs> crazy wild journey. Warrior woman, goddess. If you weren't afraid, what would you do? Remember, are you feeding the fear or are you feeding the love? You cannot feed both. You cannot be both in the fear frequency and the love frequency. They are different. They are different. Right? You would fluctuate like this. 100, 500. Okay, if you weren't afraid, what would you do? And then focus on that. Focus on the answer to this question. That's the thing here is to yeah, ask the right questions so you get the right answers. And the right answers, listen, I would like to believe that the right answer is always the answer that feels the best. That's, that's, that's my knowing. It's always the answer that feels the best, no matter what is on the other side of that. Because the answer that feels the best, that truly, genuinely doesn't give you the, you know, the, the constriction in your gut kind of feeling. That's what I mean not when I say feel the best. I mean like the, the energy in your body, okay? The response that you have in your body. Focus on that which feels good. I, again, I, I kind of lost for a moment. I had a little eyelash in my eye. See? Focus, focus, focus on what feels good. Okay. What are you creating? Because right now, again, it is about looking for and finding where your power is. Not where it's not. Again, look, what would you do? What lights you up? You are a star seed, as especially as a twin flame traveler, you are a star seed, period. Point blank. And you're on my channel. That's what you are. So look right here. If you weren't afraid, what would you do? What lights you up? Create creating heaven on earth. Oh my goodness. These wow. Wow. This just makes me so giddy right here. Oh my goodness. So giddy. You know, if you weren't afraid, what would you do? What lights you up? Because you are creating heaven on earth. It is happening right now, right now, right now, right now. You have been training for this for lifetimes. I know we didn't pull that card, but I'm telling you, you have, you have been training for this for lifetimes. Twin flames, you are so blessed because twin flames are rare. If you are so blessed that you have actually met your twin flame, cherish that. What would be the vision with your twin? What would be your life? How would it feel? What does it look like? What would you do? Where would you go? What would you say? How would you treat each other? <sighs> and any other vision for your life, your business, your dream home, your dream vacation, your dream car, whatever it is, create heaven on earth. That's why we're here. The time is now. You're being called to rise, dear goddess. You are being summoned into your place, 
your intentional place in this shift, in this new earth creation. Shine your light. Take responsibility for yourself because that gives you the ability to respond, which means you are in your power. That which is outside of you is not controlling you, but rather you are you, you are controlling you. You recognize that I, I, I have no power there, so I'm going to not focus there. I'm going to choose to focus over here where my power is. I'm going to choose to meditate. I'm going to choose to visualize. I'm going to choose to journal. I'm going to choose to do my shadow work. I'm going to choose to create my vision. I'm going to choose to do the work on me. I'm going to choose to honor myself and learn how to love myself better. I'm going to practice. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to work out <laughs> more consistently. I am, I am working out more consistently. I'm eating healthier. My lime, their essential oil lime bars, just going to say, <laughs> are amazing. Uh, you know, but really, truly, it's all about being intentional. It is. That is, it, you are the catalyst Again, for the magic, like I started with this, don't, don't be worrying about him. Don't, don't be focusing on him. Don't you be worried about what he's doing. Don't, don't. Because that is you giving your power away. That means that you, it's like an air mattress with a teeny weeny little hole. And damn it, you just can't find the hole. So stop looking for it. There's still air in the air mattress in the morning. <gasps> Luckily, my friend only stays a night or two at a time. Um, she, yeah, my girl and uh, a soul sister of mine and, and my little love bug. Anyway, seriously, focus on where your power is. You know, now we just kind of laugh about the little hole somewhere in the air mattress. It's kind of funny. You know, it's like, whatever, you know, don't make a mountain out of a molehill. So again, take your power back, focus on where your power is, which is what you are creating. So we're still, again, focusing on what we are creating, that intentional manifestation. This is your role here, dear goddess. This is your role. If you're receiving this transmission, this is your role. You are here to be creating this new earth. It's time to rise into your power and take responsibility for your experience here and create intentionally. Lead by example. By showing others that the story we tell is the reality we live. That we each are the catalysts in each our own lives. And as such, we individually impact the collective. If you want to have a better experience, create for yourself a better experience. And in turn, you create for others a better experience. You lead by example by showing that you are the one that creates for yourself a better experience. That is what this 5D earth energy is all about. Conscious creation. Intentional manifestation. Rise, dear goddess. The time is now. If you are looking for support, you're not sure which direction to go or even maybe what the fuck I'm talking about, <laughs> where to even begin, how to rise to take your power back right now during these times, dear goddess, I am here for you. This is what I do. This is what I love. This is why I'm here to guide you into and through finding your power in every moment, cards, intuition, we, we dive in. 30 minute or 75 minute Zoom video sessions. You get to keep your video or if you don't want it recorded, we don't have to record it. That's all up to you. All right. And I also send you photos of your spread, of course. That said, 
You can book yours at empowermentexperiences.com slash ICS. Again, that's empowermentexperiences.com slash ICS. My name is Rochelle Richard, founder, CEO, and self-love empowerment coach of Empowerment Experiences. Thank you so much for spending this time with me. And I will catch you in the next video. Go create amazing, dear goddess. The power has always been inside your, it has always been in your hands because it has always been inside you. Namaste. Namaste.